Well, we got another package, so let's check it out. Oh, good doggy. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have something from Major Surplus, also known as Major Surplus and Survival. Feel free to check them out. Large variety of items. Major Surplus. So let's go ahead and get you out of the way. So, let's see. Alright, we got a flyer. Nice. Let's see a manifest. Let's go ahead and dump the contents out because that seems to work best. So I'm also knocking things aside here. And one big item. Oop. Okay. I don't see anything else. Let's see if I can get the logo into frame real quick. So again, major surplus and survival. So let's get the big item out of the way, otherwise you won't be able to see anything. This is a backpack in Kenyan camo. So it is a, according to my notes, 45 liter combat rucksack in Kenyan camo. Let's quickly go over this. Alright. Pretty nice size. Here we got shoulder straps waist belt so we have all the necessary uh, strap and belt equipment right there uh, pretty lightweight straps which is good considering if this is actually for use in Kenyan climate a little bit of a no this is actually a nice pad here with mesh to help breathe along the back a lower handle Lots of other little attachments here, here. I'm not sure. Here's the other one. No, that's going to something else. So this has a different configurations that can go on and also to attach other things. So it looks like, yeah. This, these side pouches can be unzipped to detach and also be clipped on at multiple points also looks like we got other loops and buckles we got some sort of velcro strap so there's another inner storage compartment in here possibly could put hydration bladder in there maybe or other uh, items you want to keep separate i'm just uh, guessing here we in the back middle we have another pouch also zippered down the side here Velcro. so it is totally enclosed pouch this one right here these ones also the side pouches are also uh, fully enclosed with zippers so good to note I don't feel any reinforcement on the bottom though so just so you know soft bottom so Rucksack in Kenyan Camo. Very nice. Alright, next up. Let's go through some of these mittens here. I can see right here we have Czech Camo Insulated Mittens. So according to my notes, these are Czech Military Surplus M95 Camouflage Trigger Mittens. So you can see the separate fingers there versus the other digits um, looks like the typical uh, display hang hook there and another one here A little label on the inside for probably some sort of sizing and this faux fur lining check m95 uh, m Camouflage trigger mittens. Over here, we have British cold weather shooters mitten, DPM, used large. So you can see two different types of material, olive and the DPM. These are held together with that type of little plastic binder. Label on the inside, Arctic mittens, inner. 
probably that disruptive pattern arctic mark three order number size large sb and then also some more code info this is actually somebody's name possibly so i got your gloves care instructions and different type of faux fur lining very interesting so i gotta get myself some liners for these as well so these are British cold weather trigger figure shooters mittens used. Uh, this is a substitute here. This is Belgian camo ripstop BDU pants. New. Had ordered large, but they quickly went out of stock since that's a very popular size. But they offered up the extra large, so I grabbed those. Not a problem. So these are ripstop BDU pants jigsaw camo pattern. Let's go ahead and take a look. You know, you can right off see the ripstop pattern there. I'm looking at the cuffs right away. Drawstrings, hem. Uh, working our way back up. I feel padded knees. Very nice. Let's go right up back to the waistline. That would actually fit me. I'm not that big a boy, but these might actually do me all right. Even if they're too big, I can use them as overpants. So we have a single button, big drawstring here, lacing, frayed ends, but uh, we can tie those off or even cram them through uh, cord locks very carefully. Uh, here's the label. And the inner fabric, pocket-wise, we have slash pockets, no closure, cargo pockets down the side, multiple buttons, left and right, you can see that for a total of four on that pocket, bellows on the outer side and the bottom, but not the inner. Uh, closure is button fly. Let me see if I can get my fingers to work here. So you can see how these are flapped in. And we, I see five buttons right there. Okay, symmetrical cargo pocket with the similar double buttons. And again, bellowed on the outsides versus the inside. And also the bottom is bellowed out. Uh, belt loops. Two here. Two at the edges of the waist. And then flipping over. Two here. And then two closer to the middle of the back right there. So symmetrical belt loops. Rear pockets, single button closure. Interesting. So they don't have to fumble as much. Very flat, no bellows at all. And I don't see a bottom reinforcement. So, Belgian jigsaw camo pattern BDU cut trousers. Very nice, extra large. And last but not least, in a bag some jingle action we got german trifold sh shovel with cover hmm. i wonder if there's actually an issue with the shovel itself because i don't see the shovel Hmm, I might have to inquire about that. Let's go with what we got here. It might be a wording. I'm going to have to relook at the item description. It might be just a cover. So we'll give them the benefit of the doubt for now. I might revise the video description, so keep an eye on that. Two Alice clips and the kind of plastic uh, 
cover there. As for the attachment points, they would be through here, but uh, you can't. Uh, yeah, there. Okay, you can barely see them. Somebody's name and number, possibly, which has been mostly obscured. Slight tear right there. I'm not going to try that. That one came open. So you can see the type of snaps there. There we go. Number on the inside. Manufacturer's info. A little bit of mud. Drainage holes all over there. We we'll have to inquire as to whether or not, uh, or look up the description to see if there was an uh, actual shovel involved. I believe, you know, it might be just the cover. Okay, so here we got the flyer dress area, and this is for a little bit backdated September 2022. So give you an idea of time frame here so working our way backwards at least we got here the German uh, trifold cover to Alice clips there which will go through here I, don't, I think I want to fumble with that at the moment it would take too long for me to be able to do it had a couple sets of cold weather gloves we have one set here in uh, British, the DPM with the trigger mittens used, and then we also have the Czech M95 camouflage trigger mittens, and we also had these Belgian ripstop BDU pants. Let me start off, get into view here the rucksack in Kenyan camo bit of a jump cut here this just came in from major surplus their customer service after contacting major surplus they uh, sent this out right away so let's go ahead and get you out of the way and get this open and finish this unboxing this is the bottom of the box see how they pack this yep so we got that and we also got another, invoice. Oh, we got another one of these flyers so feel free to check them out again major surplus and survival and this now can go with that so let's see how this thing can go and work here. Let's see, we fold it out. And if I recall correctly, we tighten it against the blade. And there, I'm not going to tighten it too much or it's going to get stuck. And there we go, pretty secure. So that's our shovel. Just stow it. That way, fold it, and let's see if we can get into the pouch. And I think it goes this way. It goes the handles and snaps into place, and then we can get it onto a belt. So again, looking at uh, the conclusion of this unboxing from Major Surplus and Survival, feel free to check them out for a large variety of items. Again, shout out to their customer service for. Uh, helping complete the order this has been another unboxing video feel free to check out other unboxing videos on the channel we also do show and tell videos on more specific vintage mill surf tools and expanded topics we also do a selection of book review media reviews and a series called heroes for the curious videos on more artsy type objects feel free to check all those out feel free to like and subscribe thanks for watching see you next time